Hi everyone, welcome back to another short episode of PSM. Today I'm going to teach you how you can remember Hill's criteria easily. Okay, before that, this is a two month calendar for NEET PG 2021 on Anacademy. We are having a, a test and analysis batch which has just started from 24th of July. So these are your wonderful educators who are going to teach you. We are going to cover all the 19 subjects. Okay, so there's going to be a test and then there's going to be a discussion for all this. So if you want, you can definitely subscribe to these batch courses and you can use my code PSM10 or PSM Live also and get a 10% off on your subscription. Now, who is this one very famous person? This person can also come as an image-based criteria, uh, image-based question for you. He is Bradford Hill. Now, Bradford Hill gives the Hill's criteria. Why do we have the Hill's criteria, everybody? Hill's criteria was established to do what? Hill's criteria was established to demonstrate causality. You all know that we are actually conducting our study designs to establish causality. So there are a number of Hill's criteria that we have to remember, which are very important to demonstrate causality. Now I'll teach you how you can remember. So look at the question, not included in Bradford's Hill criteria. Strength of association, consistency, specificity, lack of temporal association. Before we answer this, let us see what are the Hill's criteria and how you can remember it. For this, you have to answer, ask yourself a question, which is, which is the most important Hill's criteria? Ask yourself. Subse important Hill's criteria kya hai? Right. It is temporality. What does temporality means everybody? Temporality ka matlab hota hai cause precedes effect. Okay. If you smoke then only you are going to develop lung cancer. That is the most important Hill's criteria. And it is best established by which study design? That is also an MCQ. Best established by a cohort study. Is that okay? The first thing, most important Hill's criteria, cause precedes effect, temporality, best established by cohort. Next, ask yourself, which is the least important? Okay, which is the least important or the most difficult Hill's criteria? So, the least important or the most difficult Hill's criteria is specificity. What do I mean by specificity? Specificity means that smoking, like exposure will only lead to one outcome. That cannot happen. Smoking only leads to lung cancer, only leads to lung cancer that is not the truth it can lead to other cancers cvd so that is what is specificity least important most difficult then go in a alphabetical order the next one biological plausibility what is biological plausibility ask yourself like you know it is like whatever you say should be supported by a biological backup like if we say smoking cause lung cancer yes when you smoke it causes inflammation of the lung parenchyma so that is biological plausibility fourth care all now four five and six see it will start with the same letter this is consistency all right consistency of findings coherence of association so consistency of findings coherence of association and there is one more cessation Okay, cessation, uh, this thing. Now, consistency of findings means that findings are repeatable, all right, or you can say they are reproducible, okay, repeatable, reproducible, precise. That means we are going to get the same findings in different settings. Coherence of association, matlab, the, the researchers support each other's findings, okay, the studies support rather I should write studies support each other's findings okay that is what is coherence meaning that as a researcher if I am studying lung cancer and its association uh, uh, lung cancer among boys I will see smoking is present as a risk factor if somebody else is studying lung cancer among girls wo dekhenge smoking risk factor hai. lung cancer among elderly smoking risk factor hai. so that is what is cis coherence of association cessation matlab if you Stop the exposure, the outcome will reduce, obvious hai. Then there is one more which starts with D, dose-response relationship. What is dose-response relationship? If you increase the dose, the outcome increases. If we start smoking more cigarettes, chance of lung cancer increases. Then you have S, 
straight away S. S may there is one thing which is strength of association. All right, the strength of association everyone is given by relative risk in a cohort study and attributable risk cohort study, population attributable risk cohort study. But in a case control, it is given by odds ratio. That's it. Once they asked a question that which is not a part of Hill's criteria, please remember sensitivity is not a part of Hill's criteria. So once again, how can you remember it? Ask yourself which is most important. Temporality, cause precedes effect. Which is least important or most difficult? Specificity. Only one exposure, one exposure can lead to one outcome that's not possible then go alphabetically b say biological plausibility c say you have three c's consistency coherence cessation say, uh, d there is one d and there is one s strength of association and specificity so look at this question not included in bradford's hill strength of association yes consistency yes specificity yes lack of temporal association no temporal association ka presence required okay not lack okay so i hope i made bradford's hill criteria easy for you this is also known as surgeon's hill's criteria thank you so much for watching